Hi, my name's Eric Metz. I'm reading today from Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 2 through 15. O Lord, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in your awe, O Lord, of your work. In our own time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. In wrath, may you remember mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun. Rays came forth from his hand, where his power lay hidden. Before him went pestilence, and plague followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth. He looked and made the nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered. Along his ancient pathways, the everlasting hills sank low. I saw the tents of Cushion under affliction. The tent curtains of the land of Midian trembled. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Lord? Or your anger against the rivers? Or your rage against the sea? When you drove your horses, your chariots to victory? You brandished your naked bow. Sated were the arrows at your command. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and writhed. A torrent of water swept by. The deep gave forth its voice. The sun raised high its hands. The moon stood still in its exalted place at the light of your arrows speeding by, at the gleam of your flashing spear. In fury you trod the earth. In anger you trample, trample nations. You came forth to save your people, to save your anointed. You crushed the head of the wicked house, laying it bare from foundation to roof. You pierced with their own arrows the head of his warriors, who came like a whirlwind to scatter us, gloating as if ready to devour the poor who were in hiding. You trample the sea with your horses, churning the mighty waters. A reflection on Habakkuk is as follows. The prophet Habakkuk prays using nature's mountains, skies, shining sun and moon, invoking mighty acts witnessed during Israel's ancestors. Here is an example of his invocation. God, I've heard what our ancestors say about you, and I'm stopped in my tracks down on my knees. Do among us what you did among them. In this prayer of praise, Habakkuk also points to God's mighty act to save the people, the chosen ones, while striking the wicked. Our questions as to this scripture are as follows. How do mountains, the moon, sun, and stars point you to God's might, mighty acts of salvation? And second, how does God's redemptive work of your ancestors give you assurance of God's redeeming work for you? Please join me in a word of prayer. God of Jacob and Isaac, thank you for promises, for they are true every morning. May the faith of our fathers and mothers inspire and renew our commitment to follow you. Amen. I surrender all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence day.